hey this is for everybody who has already met their karmic soulmate twin flame soulmate and for those of you who are still thinking who is he who is she where can i find them so before i start i'm going to just explain to you the spread that i have developed for this occasion so here are the significators that i'm using for this particular reading Remember, significators mean that this is going to be the same for every sign. The reason why I'm choosing them, it's sort of like the category that I really want to find the answers to, as if you're in a bookstore and you find a book with this title. So let me explain to you the significators that I'm choosing. The first one is Luna. Luna is going to tell me about the darkness and everything that maybe still didn't surface, maybe things that you don't know, maybe things that you should know. Then we have Solar Deity. Solar Deity is going to tell us what you should know. Maybe there is like still somewhere lingering, maybe it is too bright for you, maybe it's too close to your eyes, but you're going to realize that maybe you know that. Then we have reason. Many of us are asking, why? That's the hardest question as a therapist and as a reader to really answer why. Because we people we don't really make too much sense when it comes to love. So we're going to try to answer it within this card. Then we have the card guidance. Let's see, because it's your mirror soul, what do you need to find out about this person? If you guys still didn't read my introduction to this series, please check somewhere in this corner before you proceed because it's going to tell you really how and what I see it. I see it as a mirror and that's why this is called Mirror Healing ser Series. Then we are getting to the tower and the tower is going to tell us about what needs to break. It is like always a time that certain things cannot grow anymore and maybe they cannot grow because they're not sustainable maybe you know we need to kind of change us maybe they need to change whatever it is we're going to discover it in this category and the chariot a lovely card with pushing it forward where do we go which turn do we take and then let's check the significance of all of this two of chalices is there a kiss that is going to happen or what at this point of time is karma telling us so guys shall we start And it seems to be very appropriate that I'm starting with your sign. It is still the duration of your birthday. And by the way, I'm just seeing 3.33 on my computer. And so let's kind of like start seeing your categories and see where this goes. So under Luna categories, what has been hidden? You have Ten of Cups, Five of Swords, and, and Journey, which kind of is another ten. So what has been hidden is that somewhere there was a new start. There was something that is actually kind of like being born out of something that's seemingly to be defeat. You see how he is actually lying down on this pentacle, which is kind of significance of us, of who we are. Sort of like I feel, Gemini, for some of you, like, I mean, the person that either you're inquiring about or you're still trying to meet is possibly giving you this kind of like excitement uh, feeling of emotional fulfillment but at the same time it kind of scares you so all, all in all it has been a big journey unless you met a person on some kind of like journey where certain things kind of like did, did kind of like work out but I really feel this is more a metaphorical journey and journey of the soul 
So something that is still hidden is like that traveling destination. Where are we going and how are we getting there? There is like certainly like kind of that discrepancy, I would say, between, hmm, you know what? Like, I mean, I would love to enjoy this. And look at the, in this particular deck, we are seeing a person who is solitary, but she is beyond fulfilled. She doesn't need anything. Look at those cups are running over with sort of like contemplation. And if you see the ones on the top over here, they're almost like create the peak of the mountain, peaking all the way out. However, she is to some extent neglecting, you know, the challenges, or maybe she is on the other side of that mountain. Maybe, Gemini, you met your twin flame. Maybe it is telling me that, you know, twin flames change bodies, because to me they are really karmic soulmate. They actually come to you to tell you what you need to do and maybe you have been on the wrong train I literally use this example like you know for karmic soulmate you're on the wrong train and a person who you wrote into your basically you know life chart and I have these karmic soul uh, kind of like reading and um, I have past lives reading and I literally see the person has been written in Two, you said, look, if I kind of like take the wrong turn in this life, you come here. You come and tell me to move forward because this is also the card of new adventure, of new things. Something is really brewing here, Gemini, in the background for you. So let's see what you know, what maybe you should know. Ha, huh. Ace of Cups and Judgment. Whoa. And lovers. Oh my gosh. I'm getting goosebumps. So this person is somebody who you probably feel you knew forever. You kind of like, look, you had a Ten of Cups here, and now you have Ace of Cups. There is like, look at the stars bursting. The Judgment card, however, is um, talking about the past. See, in this particular deck, they're like raising up from the dead. Literally, as I said, kind of like karmic soulmate and look at this the dove and this kind of Rodin beautiful kind of sculpture here it's talking about you know what something has been really hard it felt like a glass ceiling it felt like I cannot break through just like in the solar deity card is like that kind of like feeling of expansion and feeling anything can happen judgment however really talks about and that's when I talk about these karmic soulmates Certain things need to be kind of clarified. Certain things need to be faced. That's that mirror. This is your mirror, guys. Your mirror is kind of like, did this love come in my life so I can heal? I can understand? I can be more universal? But in any case, what you do know is very clearly that you have known each other before. This is such a strong indication of love. These two cards combining, guys, I would say you already know your twin flame. You already have been dealing with this person, and it could have been something that has been full of judgments, because, <laughs> you know, it is like breaking up with exes. This is not a first lifetime. You are meeting your, your karmic soulmate, your twin flame many many lifetimes and I guess this is like one of those chats hey remember when you did that kind of like clarification and finally kind of like cleaning the slate and it's kind of like feel probably very liberating uh, to some kind of like extent so let's see the reasons for you guys to kind of like call this energy in your life whoa you have two of pentacles and you have king of, king of pentacles and you have message of concern. Well, there you go. Just as I said, you have called somebody because you needed to find something out. You needed to find if you're on the right path. Since you're getting such a strong pentacle energy, and this is definitely you, kind of like that energy of communication that your sign belongs to, the two of pentacles can talk about life juggles kind of like how do I go you see kind of like he has this infinity kind of like written in the sand and and the snake over here indicates that maybe it has been a person who you have been dealing with who either is committed to somebody else or who 
who basically has issues with commitment. It could have been another person here that you maybe have found out and that you kind of like got stunned in the situation. I also feel that for some of you, this could be a long distance kind of a relationship that sort of like feels so close to the heart, but so distant to kind of actually kind of uh, comprehend and go to it. The King of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles is telling me that this person is teaching you in this life to really ground yourself. You are an air sign. For an air sign, like you are like really high in ideas. You sometimes don't bake them through properly so the cookies can be really half baked well it takes one to know one I'm an air sign but nobody's going to tell us that we are not getting really quickly where we need to get now this message of concern it means something has been overlooked and grounding energy is really needed for any relationship maybe you brought to this relationship the zest for life a communication and this high spirited nature but this relationship is telling you, nope, 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 you really need to ground yourself. You maybe need to put your anchor down. You need to kind of like figure out where do you go from here. So the message of concern is you probably already had some kind of concerns about that or some concerns have been expressed and it's the best to acknowledge them. So we are going to guidance. So where is this going for you guys? Wow, three of cups, death and mature men. This card usually is represented with three ladies dancing, but here to me is represented with a couple. And Three of Cups is the card of friendship, is the card of universal love. There is like one of that, what they call it, unconditional love, where you know, like it's almost like ballet over here that you see, sort of like something that is fluid, that is flowing, that is kind of like really, really gentle. And again, we have this team of the mountains, very similar to what we had in the other suit of cups. For an air sign, you really have interesting messages, right? So you are really learning about water element through this person. You are learning about the depth that you can go to, but you're also learning how you can actually create something and bring it to your sign, bring it to that air. So like, I mean, how do I bring this water to the air? So where do we see water in the air? We see waterfalls. We see this um, a shooting kind of like fountains. And each time you see something like that, it's kind of like it's exciting. It's, it's basically spectacular. And I, I really think over here, it's telling you guidance, certain things need to be transformed. The death card is, I don't know if it's Scorpio, you have, you have significance of Scorpio quite a bit because the judgment was a Scorpio and doesn't have to necessarily be a Scorpio. But what is really talking is like Scorpionic energy. You know, they really, really go deep. So that's as deep as you can go emotionally. So you have this ability to feel. Like, think about it through different lenses. Let's see, like, that maybe, you know, people want to travel. Maybe want to travel to a different country, to a different city. No, not, not you. You want to travel to a different world. Something unseen, something unheard of. And you're really kind of like really taking this trip to completely environment you're not comfortable in that you kind of like are more than willing to kind of like work with so that actually really shows a huge open-mindedness and it's mature men which really is talking about you know you need to get and it's also king of pentacles is actually mature man which is talking about maybe you have been perceived as not being grounded enough maybe Maybe they are not growing enough because the energy goes both ways. Someone hasn't been in the situation. The mature man is the need of the energy that is transformation into. I really like this thing because it's again giving me this travel thing. I'm seeing Europe. I'm seeing Africa over here. So it's kind of like a really deep cultural thing for you. I really think 
through this particular situation, you, you're bonding with somebody maybe of a different culture, maybe of way different background, maybe, you know, one person is rich, another one is poor. There is definitely, I would not say an obstacle, but difference that, you know, it's not really a burden, which sometimes it is a burden. I don't know if you ever read Theodore Dreiser, American, what is it called, American Dream, and it's it's kind of like one of the best books I have ever read. So if you didn't, like I would highly advise it. It is talking about a young man who is a social climber and who does quite a bad things in order to get there. Not here. Like it's simply adding something, adding a huge layer of maturity in your case. So let's check the tower. What is the turbulence? What needs to be changed? Huh. And of course, you're getting three of swords. You're getting nine of pentacles reversed and unexpected income. All three of swords, look at in this particular case, like thorn, rose, buried. You know, especially for the ladies, I really feel that it's kind of like a really difficult choice over here. Maybe, and, and like look at this big wall, which we usually don't see in these cards. And behind this wall, it's like a huge storm happening. Yet, nothing is really shaking in this picture. So it was like something that had to happen. So reasons here were needing to be grounded. Maybe you guys didn't want to be alone. Maybe that was like no financial ability, even though it's kind of really weird that you're getting unexpected income. Maybe there was something you're getting through this person. Again, there is like this kind of like sense of nine energy over here. And Three of Swords is definitely talking about rejection. It is talking about sorrow. And this is that turbulence that couldn't go forward. And I think that's why you're getting the death card over here. Like the way it was, it couldn't continue. I feel, however, that some of you are really feeling pinch on many levels. This is like three or two different levels for sure. See, in this card is saying that you have not developed grounding yourself as, as you should. Nine of Pentacles talks about needing to st kind of start a date with uh, uh, the date, the date as well, but a day with an attitude of, hey, I can do anything, I'm a bird, I can fly. It's kind of like not needing to really have people in your space, not that they're not there, but sort of like really appreciating who you are for who you are. And that sort of like is missing over here, and that's something that needs to kind of like be fixed, as well as like this feel of lingering longing and loneliness and rejection so something might happen guys that is going to push you forward I really feel that this unexpected income it's kind of interesting because look at this person is married this person is married whether you're going to get something from somebody who is married or this is talking about some huge commitment or this is talking about ability to have the karmic coins if you wish that shedding this kind of like energy is simply going to give you a completely new perspective and new abilities to move forward well it's going to be interesting to hear from you so let's see how to move forward from this point so you have two wands <laughs> you have the hangman and you have the child well this energy is a very much of the energy of thinking for now, it is telling you, listen, you really need to think through it. And it's still a process for you. Two of Wands is the energy saying, okay, you know what, I really want to go forward. I kind of like have that idea how I want to go about that. But I really need to think through it because look at him. He has his hands in prayer. He is sort of like willingly subjecting himself to this. Because you see in this particular deck, he's not even tight. Even his hands are not tight. So this is almost like a yoga pose. He's like more than willing to do that. The freedom is out there. It is easily reachable. But it is like that understanding of the other person. You know, we are talking about twin flames. We are talking about this mirror image. What better can be a mirror than something like seeing like this? When the hangman appears, it's always talking about some kind of sacrifice. 
So some sacrifices are needed. I don't know if some of you have children, and I'm not telling to sacrifice a child. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so much against this, uh, what I'm seeing, separation, you know, children from their far fathers and their mothers. But this child here in particular, I think, talks that maybe right now you need to pay attention to your inner child because both of these cards, to some extent, are talking about... Um, not really moving forward, sort of like staying in the place, getting a greater understanding, lots of planning, and lots of contemplation about the situation. Inner child means you need to find what you need. And this is certainly the process right now. And what you need is also trying to figure out is what you want, does that equal to what you need? Because the hangman says, look, Sometimes you make sacrifices, and those sacrifices could be hard, but they'll make you so much happier in the future. Maybe this simply means that certain sacrifices need to be made. Maybe some of you don't want to have children, and a ch having a child, you know, would be the sacrifice, which kind of like is a huge burden, but it's also huge joy at the same time. So it's kind of like a really interesting direction. It's telling you to think through it, to see the other person's point of view, to see how this can be seen from different person's eyes and what kind of like part of you or what around you needs to kind of like be nurtured. So let's see about the two of chalices. Isn't this kind of like really lovely? What's hiding behind this door? So you have a Six of Pentacles, and you also have a Five of Cups and Thoughts. It looks to me that you're kind of like reaching some kind of understanding. Six of Pentacles is the card, because look at him. He is kind of like trying to put everything in some kind of balance. You have to feel like he's standing on the top of the world and kind of like feeling that kind of like energy from the above. Six of Pentacles is the energy, again, about giving, again, about charity, again, well, here was more sacrifice, but sacrifice is sometimes charity as well, just like in this card. And again, it's kind of like talking about grounding energy, right? It's kind of like for you, you're sort of like already in the motion, you're in between starting something and closing something. There is like the transformational energy over here in play. The Five of Cups is telling me that some of you, and look at here, all Five of Cups are kind of like spilled. Some of you really feel that nothing will grow from there anymore. But you cannot stop thinking about this person. You cannot stop thinking about things that have been exchanged, things that have been shared. I don't know if this twin flame includes some kind of like monetary kind of thing or just simply it keeps telling me land, journey, like maybe there is a distance and it can be physical distance and it can be emotional distance at this point. And a distance seems to be what doctor is ordering at this stage because this distance is done for your benefit because look at here. If you're asking if he or she's thinking about you, absolutely you know, absolutely, as they said in, uh, in uh, Sex and the City. But here is like that absolute kind of thing, like it's painter. Like there is like a picture painted possibly in your mind, in his mind. There is like something that is transferring time and place that you are feeling over here. So let me see, what is karmic message for you at this time? You have Eight of Cups. Ooh, you have Nine of Swords, and you have Change. Boy, you must like this. And look at this. You have Nine again. I mean, this is a Nine as well. So Eight of Cups, and there is a Nine as well. There is like a walking away energy. Oh, my gosh, this guy looks to me so much like John Travolta. I just cannot stop thinking about it whenever I see that. Eight of Cups in this particular deck is kind of like really interesting. He is reassessing what he has done so far. He is choosing a place which seems to be kind of like lonely, but he doesn't feel lonely. He is actually really full of emotions, of thoughts, of things that he is actually going through in his life. He's wondering if this is all there is, if this is it, I have to call it off. Or there is more to it. 
there is like certain anticipation and certain anxiety. Like, look at this. Like, he's actually really pierced, like, really in this particular deck. Like, everything seems to be crumbling around. There is like this energy. Again, we have this trouble. You guys, you guys are going to go through a huge change. Look at that. Like, I think this is, this is moving. I don't know if you guys literally moving, or you're moving to a different spot. I have to show you this, and I don't know how close I can I can come to this. Can you see what is on loaded on this car? Everything, the furniture, the lamp, and also to boot it, we have the lamp that is turned on. So it almost like tells me that it is your soul that is kind of like in question again this kind of like would be when you're in full Gemini mode you go oh my god oh my god oh my god you're thinking through it this is my wash machine kind of brain like everything is coming at me everything is attacking me uh, we are signs get overwhelmed and when we get overwhelmed we get irritable we get angry we say things that are inappropriate and then we are sorry about that and there, there seems to be like that circular motion around this that kind of like keeps going and it's kind of like that uh, perpetual motion of apologies and moving forward and, and back and forth and then you lash out you lash out, they lash out you do something, they do something and it just like seems to be like Stanley and Ollie, right? push and full the change means that something or somebody may be coming First of all, I'm seeing a person coming over here. I'm seeing a person, I don't know, this person can have initials, C or M. In any case, there is like something very uh, profound over here. It's not going to happen really, really fast because this journey that you have been on is like not necessarily allowing you to be like that. Uh, space travel, air travel, like the air signs are. Journey here is like very much like that pentacle journey. You guys really need to learn how to ground yourself. You guys really need to learn how to go about certain certain ways and certain things, right? Here, similar, we have this kind of like earth journey. We have kind of like what is really necessary for us. And I think this is like what karma is saying. You have to figure out. This is your mirror. This is like what, you know, it's opening up for you. You cannot open it up as long as you're circling, right? As long as, as you're pulled in. Literally, you have to pull out. And I really like the, the arms. Both arms sort of like seem to be connected to the body, right? So like they are like here being pushed in each other, almost like in, what do I do? Well, this one, he's holding his hand and screaming, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know, somebody backstabbed me. So what is going to happen here is going to be really important for you to reassess. This card of change is a really, really lovely card. So let me just pull one more card as a message for your soul. And let me see, what is the message for Gemini Twin Flames? Message for Gemini Twin Flames. And you're having Wizard of Awareness reversed. So let me see what this is all about. It says, <laughs> your soul knows best. Be still and observe. So I think this is really sealing it properly because that's the energy I'm seeing all along. You guys are still probably going through some kind of suffering that I see over here. You're going through, oh my gosh, is this it? Like, I mean, there is like three of swords, there's like five of cups. There's lots of pain, but you have to understand that these are growing pains. You guys are actually coming into something. So let's see what this means. The wizard of awareness comes to you in this position to warn you that too much force behind a desire for a specific outcome robs you of a true and full experience. Step back. Take your energy away from your situation and focus on gratitude for the ever-changing conditions of life. Are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your highest good? Meditate and be still and your answer will come without any effort on your part. Be a neutral observer and you will see how this moment is with the small marker in the moment of your life.
Thanks. So my dear Gemini, I would love to hear your comments. I would love to see what you think. And I really wish you all the best for this month and happy birthdays to all of you. If you guys want a reading with me, please check my website. And if you want a student reading, please check down in the description and see how to get it. Love you. All the best. Not so much? Maybe? 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 Come on. Say happy birthday. Anyway, I just want to leave it for you because I saw her coming. Love you, Gemini.